Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike back in the building, back in Sacramento, California, Untamed Strength. Uh, I had a vacay. My first vacation since I've been doing this YouTube podcast murder, grind, hustle, kill thing. I haven't, I haven't been on a vacation since I opened my gym in 2010. So nine years. Uh, great time, I had a family wedding, I spent some quality time with mom bear, and uh, did some Disneyland, so I got my steps in. So cardio, everything feels pretty good, but um, I couldn't find a squat rack. So I had one gym workout, I was gone seven days, and I basically just hit a circuit. I hit some chest press, some chin-ups, some triceps, uh, some lunges to get some blood in my legs, and then all just walking and eating like a total idiot. So a lot of churros, a lot of pretzels, I am over 21, we had a couple margaritas, some good time on Splash Mountain, but it's back to get uh, back to business. So, uh, jacked up the wrist last time. Look at it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that last time at uh, Ben Spot. So, uh, I tried to clean today, didn't work. But basically, my approach to coming back to training after a vacation, a sickness, um, Maybe an injury, injuries are probably gonna be a little bit different, so kinda of ignore that wrist thing. That was just a side point that I couldn't clean today. Coming back from vacation, from a break, I like to throw in some high frequency training. And what I mean by that is I like to do my compound movements nearly every day or every the other day with very low-ish volume and try to build back my strength, my repetition, my motor patterns to where I was before I left. So I won't be handling the same amount of volume. Um, you know, when I was leaving, I was working up to a heavy set of squats, maybe some back downs, threes or fives, three to five sets, uh, multiple times a week. But now what I'm gonna try to do with my squat, uh, some kind of pull or deadlift, some kind of overhead or bench press, is I'll try to hit them probably six times a week for two to three weeks, just up to a moderate single. If you wanna get technical, maybe an RPE eight, some days might be beltless, some days might be with a belt, but basically all I'm trying to do is handle pretty moderate to heavy loads and really feel the motor pattern again, feel the weight on my back as you don't really lose strength from these travels or from days off. You won't lose strength until maybe months of not training, but what you will lose is kind of the neural adaptation, uh, your central nervous system, and also um, the practice, the motor pattern, just like throwing a baseball, just like shooting a basketball shot. Steph Curry has to get free throws up every single day. It's not like his jumper disappears if he doesn't, but it'll be more fluid if it does. And that's the same thing with the squat, bench, deadlift, obviously uh, the Olympic weightlifting movements, they're all a skill. And if you don't practice those skills, they're just gonna be a bit rusty. And if you're a bit rusty in strength training, it'll mean you may feel a little bit weaker or lift less weight. So I'm trying to grease that groove over and over as much as I can for anywhere, again, from one to three weeks, five to six times a week, Lowish volume, no back down sets, and then I'll get right back into my program, right back to what we were doing where we had three lower body days based around squats, some kind of pull and some kind of clean. And then I had like two or three fluff days in between where I'm doing maybe some kind of bench, some flies, some shoulders, and a little bit of mixed in uh, back throughout the entire thing. So uh, today I worked up to four, I don't know, cause I did two quarters and everyone made fun of me, maybe 425, 415, don't correct me if I'm wrong. Felt really fast, just felt a little wobbly, so I stopped there. Uh, and I tried to clean, like I said, but it hurt. So I decided to deadlift heavy for the first time in 12 months. That's a year, it's a long time. And I hit a 545, fairly clean. Um, with some bands. So actually pretty excited considering how my back feels, uh, getting heavier loads on the poles because the heaviest I've pulled is beltless, kind of weightlifting clean pole, uh, maybe 400, 440 is maybe the heaviest. So to go 545, which isn't obviously close to what I used to pull, but uh, progress is progress regardless. So I'm throwing all the old numbers out the way. I'm a little bit lighter now. I'm feeling good, cardio's up. Everything's about the process. So although I'm not my strongest right now, I know PRs are coming. I'm gonna go again, we hit uh, 520 or something before I left. So I'm gonna try to beat that in about three weeks, I think. Because I'm not very mobile, my margin for error is very small when I'm catching my cleans and I jacked it up. So now I can't really work around it. So we're gonna rest this thing. I'm gonna go eat an acai bowl. Enjoy this California weather. I appreciate you guys. Give this thing a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Check out 50% Facts, new podcast. Hot info coming in once a week. Twitch, I'm back on it. Be sure to check it out. Sound the mic on Twitch if you want to come hang out, chat, kick it with the boys. I appreciate you, sound the mic. I'm out.